Now, a few words from our sponsors. <laughs> we have uh, Canon Heil from uh, Dell and Matt V. Palchuk from Trinetics. Let's start with Canon. That's quite an introduction. Um, <clears throat> usually when that happens on the TV, I get up and go get a drink or something. So, uh, hey, well, I appreciate a few minutes just to say hello uh, and introduce uh, uh, myself and kind of the role I represent within Dell. It won't take long. So um, my name's Cannon. Uh, I've been at Dell uh, almost two decades now, uh, which seems like a long time, but it has gone by quickly. And um, before I sit within what I guess externally is more like thought of corporate philanthropy. Um, so we're separate from the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation. That's his private uh, organization. But within the corporation, what my job is, is to find ways to leverage um, our technology portfolio to drive social impact. Uh, and healthcare is a big uh, focus for us. And so this slide here kind of speaks to how we think uh, about this role and why uh, we are so excited about the partnership with the I2P2 Transmart Foundation, because uh, there's a lot of synergy uh, in the way the foundation thinks about things, how y'all are approaching it every day and using it. Um, and so we, we think that technology can be a catalyst uh, to drive real world change. Um, cash is awesome. <laughs> what, what we found is it tends to, you never have enough of it and it runs out pretty quickly. Uh, but our belief or thought is if you can find ways to um, kind of appropriately design and implement tech, um, you can get tremendous scale out of it. Um, and so that's kind of the heart behind this. Um, and then some of the, the thinking behind the digital medical twin. Um, if we can figure out how to use the massive amounts of data that y'all collect every day and are analyzing in the, in the tools, if you can harness that through the right use of tech to drive insights and understanding that help people, that scales. Um, and so that's kind of the thought behind it. Um, uh, Dave Diamond and I, uh, we're kind of partners over here on this effort. Uh, in a lot of ways, I think I'm like a sales guy, so I have quota. Uh, I have 300 million of this uh, 1 billion uh, patient um, or people quota. Uh, so by 2030, we want to be able to help in a genuine way uh, 300 million people. Um, and so uh, that is the goal, uh, the moonshot. Support starts from the top. So Michael Dell, he's our founder and CEO, if you all aren't aware, um, and has done a lot in healthcare, both privately. So within Austin, where I'm from, he has a, a very large children's hospital, just started the UT uh, Dell Medical School. Um, and so he, he totally understands and has a passion of using every asset in his company uh, in the healthcare space. And so he, he's been a huge supporter of us um, in, in doing what we're trying to do. The approach, just quickly how we think about it, um, and, and the punchline here is for y'all is as you think about what you do each day, if there's ways to partner with the foundation and the community members, to go do more things or do interesting things that use data and technology to help patients. Um, this is how we tend to think about it. Um, it's a concept called shared value. Um, and so this is where, how do you help people while helping your organization achieve those missions? So is there a way to overlap those two things? So we think about this through, lens through Dell as well as our partners. Um, and so there's a social component to that a business component to that and a technology component. So those three legs of the stool is what we're trying to balance. And then we wanna have a long-term view. Um, so we, we have the benefit of being a, more of a philanthropic mindset. So our time to value or how long investments take to return that social impact, we have some patience around that. Um, we do want it to be real world though. Uh, we don't want science projects that sometime in the future are a flying car. Uh, so that kind of speaks to this immediate um, and then exponential, we want scale and then it to be real. Uh, it's not something transient, um, but more enduring impact. And then we have an opinion, opinionated guide on the tech we like to use. We are a technology company. We have an unbelievable technology stack. 
Uh, some folks tend to think of us as a PC company. Uh, that is a big part of our business, but there's a whole range of high performance compute and we can do some of the most sophisticated workloads in the world. Um, and so Saeed talked to a, a little bit of that, um, but we wanna use that kind of leading edge. How can we look out into the future and find a technology solution that pulls something forward that might not seem real today. Uh, and so the digital medical twin is a good example of that where maybe a couple of years ago, I know internally within Dell, we were kind of laughed at a little bit um, about trying to do that. Um, it, kind of a con maybe more conceptual, uh, but today through the, the work that y'all have done, uh, there's I think last count was uh, 350,000 patients have been assigned to a clinical trial that had COVID long haul. Uh, because of the implementation that that, that y'all did. Um, so we want to scale impact through collaboration. We know it's not just one person, and I, I liked how Sean started his presentation where it's not just him pitching, but a whole team behind that. So we want to work with everybody, uh, public, private, NGO, uh, non, you know, um, customers, to kind of come together and put the different pieces together uh, to drive impact. Um, and then we have a portfolio minded approach where we have kind of on one end, maybe emerging technologies that aren't, aren't quite ready yet, but more innovative and we're not real sure if they're gonna work uh, to the other end around what we call these anchor programs, which are real big, large scale investments. Um, and we have an example of that uh, is we have a non-communicable disease program in India uh, that uses uh, some technology to be able to screen people uh, for non-communicable diseases and then start the creation of an electronic medical health care record and then pull them into a path of care. Um, and to date we've done, I think we've screened over 150 million people. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, we screened over 150 million people and about 30 million then been pulled into different lines of care through that. So anyway, I appreciate the time. Thank you and uh, y'all are doing great work.